I suppose the old adage is true, if you want bad anime, go look at the top airing shows on my anime list. Spy X Family currently fills its number one spot. It's an adaptation by Cloverworks and Wit Studio of the Shonen Jump series, and now that I think about it, I'm not sure that there's been an adaptation from Shonen Jump that I've enjoyed in quite a while. Shonen Jump, if you don't know, is Japan's leading young boys manga publication. It's where shows like Demon Slayer, Black Clover, and Fire Punch generally come from. Every now and then, though, they will get their hands on something amazing. Spy X Family is unfortunately no such thing. Spy X Family tells the extremely ham-fisted version of a spy thriller with characters that are as flat as cardboard and as interesting as my ass. Every character has the most obvious background in character development. Our main character is a super spy on par with Jason Bourne named Twilight, his adopted daughter Anya who can read minds and is a default anime cute girl doing cute things, and lastly his pretend wife assassin Mix, Yor, is sexually attracted to things that represent killing, and I suppose she's also unbelievably stupid. Don't get me wrong, I understand the appeal of cute girl doing cute things, and if that's what you're here for, that's a little bit more understandable, but I find it a shame that that's all that this show really has to offer at the end of the day. Spy X Family may do nothing to attempt at making a serious spy show, but the music is serviceable and it feels like it fits with the comedy and time period occasionally. Boss, maybe we should ditch the whole toupee thing. Go. Transparency is essential in government, so toupees are a no-go. A pistol with a silencer! Plus, the minister's a traitor who's been secretly backing the West, and anyone who takes a traitor's side must be a traitor too. He's gotta be a pro bad guy! Other times, it's your generic comedy music fair. The voice acting is good and the dubbing is done rather well, but there aren't really any moments where the voice actors get to flex their vocal talents. The animation is where the show really stands tall. Both Wit Studios and Cloverwork Studios are perfectly competent, but with a Shonen Jump adaptation, you would expect more action. There's about one action scene per episode, and they're generally well animated, but there are also scenes of the infamous CGI crosswalk and crowd. A real honest-to-God mixed bag. In conclusion, Spy X Family is a modern showing of pure writing mediocrity. If you're looking for cute girl doing cute things with a side of something else going on in the background, then perhaps this is for you, but there's nothing here for a man of my age and position. Just your average show that somehow made its way into everybody's hearts by playing the most common denominator of entertainment. Just watch Hina Matsuri, and you'll have a much better time. Spy X Family gets a 5 out of 10. Mediocre. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. Thanks to our producers, Anthony Wumbo, James Novak, John Foreman, and Zachary Coroner.